Hello my foodies I hope you all are doing well Whether it is a terrible summer or a cold winter a glimpse of it is enough to make the heart relaxed We all must have some memories related to ice cream Today everyone is crazy about it and will have to believe in technology and science that now even such kind of ice cream has come in the market which is specially designed for patients related to heart diseases and also for people suffering from diabetes well, that sounds really amazing isn't it whenever we see smoking ice cream trending on the social media then we all just want to give it a try and you should do that too whether it is the big brands of ice cream or the local ones everybody should not forget that just like all the other desserts it is always advised to be consumed in moderation now let's decode the scientific secrets behind its structure these are the five basic components of ice cream fat air bubble protein ice crystals and sugar fat globules which you see here are responsible for giving creaminess to the ice cream and the main reason why ice cream tastes so delicious is because of its high fat content if it is mentioned on the ice cream that it is low fat non fat or light fat then only it will contain fat percent less than 10 Otherwise all the ice creams have generally a higher fat percentage. It is not only responsible for creamy texture of the ice cream but also it adds richness, improves overall flavor and also improves the density and smoothness of ice cream. Coming on to the air cells, it makes up more than 50% of ice cream's total volume. And you will also be amazed to know that if the ice crystal structure is better then the flavor molecules will take more time to release this will ensure that the flavor will last longer this will definitely increase the palatability and yes of course texture will also be maintained always remember that the size of ice crystals play a major role in determining whether the ice cream will be smooth or grainy in order to avoid sandy ice cream ice crystals are always kept small Now coming on to the milk proteins which are present here that is casein and whey protein these are present as coatings on the fat globules we should also thank these protein coatings present on the fat globules because of which the fat is evenly distributed and it also helps in keeping them together Now let's discuss about the fifth major component that is sugar Do you know that cold foods tend to numb your taste buds and because of this reason they are less sensitive to flavors for this reason sweeteners such as sugar is a crucial component of any ice cream If we talk about the major function of these sweeteners or you can say sugar then the main function is to improve texture body of the ice cream and also it lowers the freezing point Well that's it for today stay tuned for this kind of short and crisp information related to food industry see you next time till then goodbye take care